On this final day of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we have one more member of our AAPI community to spotlight. A chef and cookbook author embracing the wave of recognition that Filipino Americans are experiencing on a national stage. CBS 2's Christine Johnson has more. It was a breakout year for artists with Filipino roots at the 2022 Grammy Awards. Bruno Mars, Saweetie, El King, Her, and Olivia Rodrigo. An impressive 22 Grammy nominations between them. Also this year, Kasama, an eatery in Chicago, became the first Filipino restaurant in America to earn a Michelin star. From our ancestors to our immigrant parents, it led up to this moment. So this moment <laughs> is a long time coming for Nicole Ponseca, a New York City restaurateur and author of I Am a Filipino, and this is how we cook. This is years of work, years of craftsmanship, and now I think it's also Filipino saying, I'm here. Nicole met me in Brooklyn to prepare a few Filipino staples, a noodle dish called pancet. The thing we do here is we want to make sure the vegetables, the proteins, everything is cut in similar um, sizes. Lumpia, a variation of an egg roll, and a steamed fertilized duck egg called balut, a sought-after source of protein that is widely available and consumed across the Philippine Islands. Though, in the early 2000s, on a national stage, the egg was featured in a challenge round on the TV series Fear Factor. We must consume two balut eggs. Oh. oh, God. The first time people would reference my culture is to say, I saw you on Fear Factor. You eat that? Or, or wow, your culture is so weird. And it was a lot to weigh on an eight-year-old. Nicole has since found pride in her Filipino heritage and loves educating and sharing her modern twists on Filipino food. Whether you like it or not, I just want you to know about it, and I want you to respect that it's part of our culture. A culture Nicole and this reporter have great pride. Thank you for doing this for me. It just really kind of reinforces that looking at your heritage, it's really something to embrace. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> Still waiting for Christine to bring some food in. Mm -hmm. Still waiting. And a reminder, you can see all of our Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month stories on our website, cbsnewyork.com.